Our topic today about business mathematics, quarter 2, week 5, is about computing overtime pay. At the end of the lesson, you must be able to state the labor rules in the Philippines pertinent to the computation of overtime pay. Number two, identify the variables needed in the computation of the overtime pay. Number three, familiarize with the different work days in the Philippines, such as regular day, regular holiday, special holidays, and compute daily gross earnings with overtime pay. Okay, so if you're ready, let's do it. Okay, so what are the variables needed in the computation of overtime pay? So number one, you need to know your regular hourly rate. Number two, you need to know your hourly rate. Last one is you need to know as well your overtime rate. Later on in this video, I will give you the table of the variables in computing your overtime pay. Okay, so let us talk about labor rules in the Philippines pertinent to the computation of overtime pay. So number one, under Article 83 of the Labor Code states that the normal number of hours of working of any employee shall not exceed 8 hours a day, excluding of at least 1 hour lunch break. So, ibig sabihin, ang bawat Pilipinong empleyado ay dapat lamang magtrabaho na 8 hours kada araw. Hindi kasama sa bilang ng oras yung lunch break. Ibig sabihin, mag stay ka sa company ng 9 hours every day. Number 2, Article 87 of the Labor Code provides that an employee can work beyond 8 hours if he she will be compensated for the extra hours by 25% of the hourly rate, 30% for non-regular working days. Okay, so tayong mga empleyado, pwede tayong mag-work beyond 8 hours. Pero kailangan compensated yon. So dito pumapasok yung overtime pay. Kapag ikaw ay mag-work ng extra hours, kailangan makakatanggap ka ng 25% more than ng iyong regular early rate. Kapag ikaw ay nagtatrabaho ng regular days. Kung ikaw naman ay magtatrabaho ng non-regular working days, example, holidays, dapat atanggap ka ng 30% ng iyong early rate as your overtime pay. So, number 3. Article 93 and 94 of the Labor Code provides the specification of early rate and overtime premium depending on the type of working day when an employer reports to work. For example, regular holiday, special holiday, rest day, which falls on regular holiday, and rest day, which falls on special holiday. Kasi pwede kang magtrabaho ng mga ganitong mga panahon na may mga holidays. No? Example, kailangan talaga ng kumpanya nyo ng tao, tapos they ask you to work kahit ikaw ay rest day. So magkakaiba po yung mga rate niyan. So later, I will give you the table about sa mga rate ng mga regular holidays at mga special non-working holidays. Okay, this is the Labor Advisory number 13 series of 2019 listed the following regular holidays and special holidays. This is the holidays in 2020. So sa regular holidays, meron tayong New Year's Day, Monday Thursday, and Araw ng Kagitingan hanggang December 30, Rizal Day. Sa mga special non-working holidays naman, we have January 25, Chinese New Year hanggang December 31, last day of New Year. Sa 2020 holidays din, meron ditong nakalagay sa baba na additional special non-working days, November 2, All Souls Day, and December 24, Christmas Eve. Okay, so take note lang, this information may change depending on the updates of the government. So, government ay merong kapangyarihan para magbigay ng any changes ng ating mga holidays. Okay, so before we can compute for the overtime pay, we need to compute first the variables needed. Number one, the regular early rate. Next is early rate and our overtime rate. So let's talk about these steps. Number one, identify the regular early rate is equal to daily rate divided by 8. For example, uh, 800 ka sa isang araw, so divide by 8, that is equal to 100 pesos. It means 
100 pesos is your regular early rate. So step two, you need to identify the work day an employee reported to work. The regular hourly rate shall be multiplied by the respective percentage to obtain the hourly rate and overtime rate. So, makikita nyo dito sa table yung mga data in terms of rate per oras at overtime. Sa regular day, ito yung regular days na pasok mo. So, 100%. Ibig sabihin, kung 800 ka, 100 pesos ang makukuha mo kada oras. Walang labis, walang kulang. Pero kapag ikaw ay nag-overtime under regular day, makakatanggap ka ng 125%. So, ibig sabihin, merong 25% na dagdag kung ikaw ay magtatrabaho. So, kung ikaw naman ay magtatrabaho ng special holiday, example, uh, Chinese New Year, no? ang early rate mo is 130%. Kasi pwede ka namang hindi pumasok dyan kasi holiday yan, no? Pero kung papasok ka, mataas ang hourly rate mo. So kung 100 pesos ka per hour, kapag pumasok ka ng special holiday, magiging 130 pesos ang isang oras mo. At kung ikaw ay mag-overtime ng special holiday, magiging 169% per oras mo. So pinakamadaling intindihin dito kung 100 pesos per oras ka, 169 pesos ka kada oras sa, sa iyong overtime. Okay, kung ikaw naman ay papasok ng rest day, tapos na taon na special holiday yon, 150% ang bayad sa iyo per oras. Kapag ikaw naman ay nag-overtime ng rest day on special holiday, you will receive 195% overtime rate. Next, regular holiday. Ito yung uh, sample nito. New Year's Day. Ayan. Pag pumasok ka nito, ang per oras mo, ay 200%. Doble. No? So, kung 100 pesos ang isang oras mo, magiging 200 pesos. Pero, ang sad naman nun, no? January 1, magkatrabaho ka. Pero, kung magkatrabaho, wala ka namang gagawin. So, 200 pesos per oras ka. Kung ikaw naman mag-overtime, sobrang sipag mo. January 1, ikaw ay nagpumasok at nag-overtime ka pa. You will receive an overtime pay of 260%. So, pag rest day naman, rest day mo, tapos na taon na regular holiday, tapos pumasok ka. Example, mabigay tayo ng regular holiday. Bonifacio day, yan. Rest day mo yon, tapos na taon yun na regular holiday, nako, jackpot ka. Kasi ang early rate mo is 260%. Tapos kung mag-overtime ka pa, that is 338% or 338 pesos kung ang yung oras ay 100 piso. So, yan yung mga kailangan yung malaman para uh, makompute nyo yung inyong mga sahod at inyong mga overtime pay. Pero kasi isipin nyo, maraming empleyado sa loob ng kumpanya, minsan talaga nagkakaroon ng computation error. Pag tingin nyo may mali sa computation, pwede nyo ipare-compute. Step 3, compute the hourly rate that is equal to regular hourly rate times respective early rate. So, later, magbibigay tayo ng example dyan. Step 4, compute the overtime rate that is equal to regular early rate times respective overtime rate. Okay, so let's have an example. Example number 1, Sheila works at an accounting firm earning a minimum wage of 537 pesos daily. Determine her regular hourly rate, hourly rate and overtime rate if she report to work on a regular day, a special holiday, a special holiday during her rest day, a regular holiday and a regular holiday during her rest day. So, ang dami natin ko compute. <laughs> kaya kaya natin yan. Simply follow the formulas written above. Reviewing yung palagi yung table na pinakita ko sa inyo kanina. During any kind of work day, the regular early rate is the same. Kung kukumpitin natin yung kay Sheila, ang regular early rate niya ay 537 divided by 8 is equal to 67.13. We are already computed the regular early rate which is equal to 67.13. Okay, so now we can compute for the hourly rate and overtime rate of Sheila if she are going to work in her regular day. So since we already computed her regular hourly rate, so what we're going to do is always check the table in terms of the rate. So in this regular day, to compute the hourly rate, we have 67.13 times 100% is equal to 67.13 pa rin. Kasi nga, wala namang special dito sa araw na to because it's a regular 
day. But if Sheila were going to work overtime in her regular day, his overtime rate is 125%. So to get the overtime pay per hour, we're going to multiply the regular hourly rate, which is 67.13 times 125%. That is equal to 83.91. This means Sheila will earn 67.13 per hour of her first eight hours and then 83.91 per hour for her overtime. So magkaiba yung bayad sa overtime at bayad dun sa regular first 8 hours. Next. So paano naman kung si Sheila ay magtatrabaho ng special holiday? So magkano ang magiging per oras niya hourly rate and magkano ang magiging per oras niya sa kanyang overtime. So the hourly rate percentage is 130% no, kapag siya ay nagtrabaho ng holiday kasi nga hindi to regular day niya, no? At ang overtime rate niya is 169. Kailangan pa rin natin dito yung kanyang regular hourly rate which is 67.13. The times natin 'yan sa kanyang hourly rate in terms of special holiday which is 130%. So multiplying 67.13 times 130% that is equal to 87.27 so ito yung per oras ni Sheila kapag siya ay nagtrabaho ng special holiday so magkano naman ang per oras niya kapag nag overtime siya so 67.13 times the overtime rate in special holiday that is equal to 113.45 pesos so it means Sheila will earn 87.27 per hour for 8 hours of work and 113.45 pesos per hour for her overtime. Okay, so let's compute for uh, per hour of Sheila kapag siya ay magtatrabaho on special holiday during rest day. So if you're going to check the table, the early rate is 150% and the overtime rate is 195%. So we're going to use again the, the regular hourly rate which is 67.13 times 150% that is equal to 100.70 pesos. So yan yung magiging per oras niya for 8 hours. Overtime rate niya, 67.13% times the overtime rate which is 195% is equal to 130.90 pesos. This means Sheila will earn 100.70 pesos for her first 8 hours and 130.90 pesos per hour for her overtime. Okay, so dito naman tayo sa regular holiday. Let's say si Sheila magtatrabaho siya ng regular holiday. Example, Christmas Day, no, December 25. Ang early rate niya is 200%. Ang kanyang overtime rate is 260%. So if meron siyang 67.13 pesos ng kanyang regular early rate, times mo yun sa 200%, that is equal to 134.26. So, ito yung magiging per oras niya sa regular holiday. Ang overtime rate naman niya, which is 260%, times natin dun sa kanyang regular daily hourly rate, that is equal to 174.54 pesos per hour. This means, Sheila will earn 134.26 pesos per hour for the first 8 hours and 174.54 for overtime. Okay? So, ganyan sa regular holiday. Okay, so sa regular holiday during rest day, if Sheila will going to work ng regular holiday, tapos nagkataon na rest day niya pa yon, ang kanyang early rate is 260%. Ang laki. At overtime rate niya is 338%. So example, Christmas Day, nagtrabaho siya. Ang magiging bayad sa kanya per hour is 67.13 times 260% is equal to 174.54 pesos per hour. Ang magiging overtime rate niya naman is 67.13 times 338% is equal to 226.90 pesos per hour. This means Sheila will earn 174.54 pesos per hour for her first 8 hours and 226.90 pesos per hour for her overtime. So yon ang mga computations natin sa regular day 
special holiday, rest day on special holiday, regular holiday, and rest day on a regular holiday. Magkakaiba-iba ng rate during that particular work day at magkakaiba din ng overtime rate. So, mahalagang malaman nyo ito para fo-forecast nyo or na-estimate nyo kung magkano ang inyong makukuha during sahod. At least, meron kayong idea kung paano kinukompute siya. Okay?